Coach, I know we talked a lot about the preparation that goes into camp and preseason, but from the first win, give us the precision. Yeah, I mean, it's the defense, obviously, that uh, we've been concentrating on. And uh, our help was good tonight. We forced them into um, threes, both great threes. And um, our multiple efforts were really good on the defensive end. Um, obviously, the numbers show, right? We held them to 36 from two and 26 from three. But yeah, it's a defensive effort. If we can do that, if we can um, finish plays with rebounds, then we can get out and run. And that's what we do best. So. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, super um, encouraged by our intensity on the defensive end, and then uh, turning that defense into offense is, is important for us. Can you talk about the way Jabari plays tonight? He was good. He was really, I mean, again, defensively, he's in the right spots. He's long, he's athletic, he is in the gap, <laughs> and then he's closing out to bless you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And then offensively, he's making shots. And what we did tonight is we really shared the basketball. And for us to be good, um, that's going to have to be a constant as far as us moving the ball to the open guy. It doesn't have to be a spectacular play at all. It's a simple play. Draw the second defender, make a simple play to your teammate. And that's what we did for him. How do you feel about how? Some open shots. Sorry about that. Um, how do you feel about how Alper and Shingun and Jabari played off of one another when they were on the floor together? Uh, it looked good. It looked good. Alpi um, kind of in the paint and, and Jabari on the perimeter. Uh, they still have to kind of find some, because uh, when Alpi catches it a little bit higher, like at the, at the nail or at the elbow or on the short roll or the pick and roll, everybody, not just Jabari, but everybody kind of has to get a good feel for what we want in those situations uh, turned out pretty good tonight, but we did have some turnovers as a result. So um, that's definitely something that we're going to have to clean up. But conceptually, it does look good that we have um, shooting on the floor and, and out be in the, in the uh, paint. Coach, you just, Coach, you just finished talking about um, this team's ability to share the ball. Um, can you just talk about the growth that you've seen from Kevin Porter Jr.? Yeah, I mean, Scoot played a very good game tonight, and he didn't score. He didn't score well. He didn't shoot the ball well. He made the corner three in the second half, but overall, what was he? Three for nine from the field, and, you know, plus 23 in his minutes. And he was making the right plays to his teammates. He didn't turn it over uh, very much, and he was right there defensively. So, yeah, if him and Jalen have off night shooting, which they both did, and we can still play effective basketball, that's good for the Rockets. Steven, I know um, preseason is a preseason, but for a team that's still, still trying to learn how to win consistently, what can you take away from you know winning a game like this during the preseason? Yeah, I mean, any game you play, you want to win, and we have competitive guys. So um, yeah, it feels good to, to get off on a winning note for sure, but there's a lot we have to clean up, and um, we're going to take tomorrow off, and then we're going to get to three days of practice where we will get to clean some of this stuff up and um, hopefully improve because there's a lot to improve. Brown being the first big off the bench, what, what has he been bringing you this last four or five days? Exactly what you saw, uh, rim threat when it comes to the role, um, offensive rebounding, protect the rim defensively as far as the shot blocking. Um, his athleticism is just a cha game changer for us because we have Alpi who's so skilled but not not quite as athletic, and then Bruno can come in and be uh, athletic and, and um, really really roll hard, which opens it up for everybody. So uh, yeah, his his activity, his athleticism are uh, things that we look forward to. Has how has that progressed since he had ten games with you last year that he played in? But has some of it improved? Yeah, it, it has improved. I mean, he's been with us all summer, and uh, you know, he's been around, and he's been fun to be with. And, and uh, but it has improved. We didn't have him, have him for very long last year, so maybe we didn't get a good look. And we got to know him. He got to know us this summer. Um, but you know, sometimes for bigs, it takes a little longer for them to kind of start to get a little bit. Coach, you, uh, 
But you talked about the simple things. Um, late in the fourth quarter, around about seven minutes left, the, your, your defense was able to come up with a shot clock violation. And I think you clapped harder then than you had probably clapped the whole game. Was that what you mean by just the simple things, those things that don't show up in the box scores, but will show up on the film? For sure. I mean, multiple effort defense where we do a good job with our initial coverage, whether it's pick and roll, dribble handoff, or ISO coverage. And then as the ball gets sprayed out, scrambling and helping your teammate and keeping the ball out of the paint and making them make an extra pass. And if we could do that, uh, that would be really good. Um, getting teams to shoot late in the shot clock means that we're giving effort throughout the shot clock. So um, if we have possessions like we had tonight where they were shooting with two, one shot clock violation uh, possessions, then that's a good indicator of what we're doing as far as playing hard on I mean, we had so much pick and roll tonight. To, and I know you mentioned pregame that you haven't put in some stuff right. yet. But to have the vertical spacing that Bruno brings that's a little different from either the small ball centers or, or Alpi to some degree, is, is that part of the plan of, hey, we're going to run this much pick and roll, have a rim runner like that? Yeah, it, it is. I mean, to have a dynamic roller is. It helps everybody. It helps the shooters on the perimeter. It helps the guys coming off the screen. It helps <coughs> so much. So uh, yeah, that's we are a heavy pick and roll team. Even when I have the whole playbook in, we're still going to be a heavy pick and roll team. So to have that dynamic roller is important. First half, you staggered Kevin and Jalen quite a bit. Is that something that you're looking to do a little more often? And are you what are you looking for when one of them is on the floor and the other isn't? Yeah, tonight wasn't necessarily an indicator of much when it comes to the lineup, to the uh, rotations. Uh, I was just trying to see a bunch of different lineups, see a bunch of different combinations. Um, so that kind of remains to be seen. But when Kevin's on the floor and Jalen's not on the floor, I want him to basically do the same thing, you know, like be a playmaker, whether it's for himself or his teammates. And if the if he's going to score and the help comes, I want him to make a play. If it doesn't come, I want him to finish. And for uh, Jalen, when Scoot is on the floor, same thing. It doesn't really change very much. He's a primary scorer, and uh, a lot of the plays are going to go to him. But he also has to be in the right spots and make the right plays when he's coming off and uh, make quick decisions. So yeah, it doesn't change much when uh, either guy is off. Of those combinations, were there any other, I know you already spoke a little bit about Jabari and Alpi playing off of each other. Were there any other pairs or trios of guys that you thought played really well with one another tonight? Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of guys who played well, obviously. Um, but I like what Dacian did um, when Scoop was in the game, those two guys. So Scoop to play a little bit off the ball, and Dacian has the ball. That's something that's interesting. Um, and then what KJ Martin gave to us as far as like, just being organized when he's on the floor. He, does, he always makes us organized because he, when the ball stops, he's going to do something. He's going to low side screen. He's going to flash. He's going to cut. He's going to crash. And then Tari, um, we didn't run one play for Tari tonight, but his crashing and um, his uh, just knack for getting to the rim is, uh, is good. So I'm going to have to watch the film to give, a, give you a better answer on that as far as the actual groups who played well together. But um, individually, we saw a lot of guys play well. So as far as your uh, rotation, you just mentioned, so it may be a, a case where next game, you may have Tata coming a little bit earlier than he did this game since you had Dacian as one of the first guards off the bench? Not necessarily. I don't know. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.